Welcome everybody, my name is Michael, and today we are discussing about Celsius publishing 14,000 pages worth of confidential information, such as first name, last name of a client, when they were making transactions, amount of transactions. We can see that the owners, the founder's wife, took out $2 million actually a couple days before they announced bankruptcy and closed everything. So this is absolutely crazy. Not only did you lose a lot of money, but now you have your privacy completely destroyed and people might be able to do bad things considering there is big financial data in there. Tons and tons of data, 14,000 pages that a judge forced them to really release. So partially their fault, but also that's just how the system works. And people who were very concerned about privacy, sorry, uh, any semblance of hope of coming out of this, everything's going to be fine, unscathed, not a chance, not happening. So again, to recap, as part of their bankruptcy proceedings, the 14,000 page document going through all the details, full name, timestamp, and amount of each deposit, withdrawal, liquidation, everything is within these documents that people are saying, well, yes, even if the judges have requested it during this bankruptcy proceeding, couldn't they have at least blanked out the names and even the addresses were almost revealed fully, where at one point a judge didn't believe from the lawyers he didn't believe that people's addresses could actually be used for, oh, I don't know, phishing, scamming, spam. Uh, that's exactly what would happen. The fact that it is already permanent on the internet, right? You have a huge amount of data that just went out and this information is never coming back. It's never going to be hidden from the public eye. People are most likely going to sell this data amongst each other, scammers to scammers. Now. This data did also reveal that some executives of the company did take out around 50 million pounds before the collapse. I don't think they care about users' privacy, but I'm pretty sure that the team of Celsius probably would have preferred for this information not to get out. Because, again, the executives taking out the money, um, a lot of people are flabbergasted. They just checked. They found their name despite having only one transaction or two transactions ever. Some people are very thankful they never used Celsius. Um, they were asking customers for donations after the whole thing to help fund their legal team. Obviously, it's, uh, it's not going over that well. The wife of Mashinsky, one of the founders, has a company that is selling t-shirts. And one of those is called unbankrupt yourself that's kind of uh, interesting so with celsius it's a huge and horrific and unprecedented breach of privacy but this is not the first time it's happened in crypto outside of crypto privacy has been broken many times before and this just goes to show you that definitely not decentralized these are extremely centralized exchanges that even if everything went fine for your account you're still part of this data breach so the number one thing is maybe don't use centralized exchanges there are definitely decentralized exchanges out there um some people still have you know salt in the wound from mount gox they never forgot and they never used centralized exchanges or at least never kept their money on there um maybe they were able to go a little bit more into KYC and AML by using Monero and they never actually gave the real documents or were going through a third party. So even if names are in the data breach, it's actually not theirs. You know, there were ways around it, but probably the average person would have had their address for had the judge simply got their way. Absolutely crazy to think about. Um, Obviously, this was used for court because they just wanted to go through the transactions, find out where the money is going through in a bankruptcy proceeding. But the fact that you sign up for a platform and then five, ten years from now, scammers can find out exactly everything they need to know. 
just goes back to you have to be extremely careful with your privacy because maybe you sign up for 10 different exchanges and you have a wallet that's linked to each one and somehow you know maybe you're being a little bit foolish but one day you're gonna get uh, also a phishing attack and that's how people lose access to their funds so that is that check that out gorgeous Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.